Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav and I welcome you. Uh, in this uh, uh, video, I am discussing my learning from Middle Discourses 68. Title of the discourse is At Nala Kampana and the link to the entire discourse is given in the description. Now, this discourse is basically uh, where Buddha is answering this question. So, Buddha is with uh, venerables Anuradha, Bhadiya, Kimbila, Bhagu, Kodrana, Revata, Ananda, all the senior disciples. Buddha is with them. And and this in this discourse, this this thing that so it's a long discourse, but the main point that is coming out in this discourse is that uh, Buddha is saying uh, what advantage Buddha is asking his disciples that uh, what advantage does realized one that is Buddha himself see in declaring the rebirth of his disciples who have passed away. This one is reborn here, while the other one is reborn here. So what Buddha did was that. Uh, a disciple who has reborn into a higher realm or a disciple who has achieved arhantship, Buddha used to uh, share it with the mendicants. So, so Buddha wanted to just clarify on this particular thing that the mendicants should not think that Buddha is kind of uh, just declaring some such things on the, for the sake of deceiving people or for popularity or flattering that someone, some one of his disciples has attained arhantship. No. Uh, and one of the reasons why Buddha is clarifying this matter is because uh, especially Anuruddha uh, and other disciples as well, uh, through their training, they obtained the insights and uh, the, the the kind of gifts of clairvoyance, wherein they could just in their meditation see where the you know other uh, disciple or other person has been reborn, right? And they could even travel realms in their meditation through their meditative power. So, Buddha wanted that this ability is used only for pure reasons, for the reasons of benefiting people, right? So, that, that for that reason, Buddha, uh, uh, in this discourse, said, uh, asked this question to the disciples. And the disciples said that uh, our teachers are rooted, our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. He is our guide and our refuge. May the Buddha himself please clarify the meaning of this. So, the students requested the teacher himself to clarify on why he declares the rebirth. So Buddha says, the realized one does not declare such things for the sake of deceiving people or flattering them, nor for the benefit of possessions, honor or popularity, nor thinking that so let people know about me. Rather, there are gentlemen of faith who are full of sublime joy and gladness. When they hear that, they focus their minds to that end. This is for their lasting welfare and happiness. So what Buddha was saying, is that intention of Buddha telling about a rebirth of a person in a particular, uh, like full becoming fully a, a arhant or any other state is that the mendicant who hears about that particular uh, mendicant who has passed away and he gets encouraged, he or she gets encouraged that if that mendicant who possessed the, the ethics and wisdom and who followed the Buddha's path became an arhant, which is the final goal of Buddha's teaching, I too can follow the Buddha's path and have the ethics and have the wisdom and have the meditative concentration to reach the final path. Right? So, Buddha is giving uh, examples like uh, all the four uh, uh, stages like becoming an arhant, becoming a non-returner that means not coming back to the world, becoming a once-returner that means only once that person has to come back into this world and stream entry. Right? So, Buddha is giving all the four things. Uh, that So, let me just read it out. One thing. Take a monk who hears this. The monk named so and so has passed away. The Buddha has declared that with the ending of the five lower fetters, he has been reborn spontaneously and will become extinguished there. Not liable to return from that world. That means, he will be a non-returner. And he is either seen for himself or heard some qualities from someone else that the venerable had such ethics, qualities, wisdom, meditation, freedom. Recollecting that the monk's faith, ethics, learning, generosity and wisdom, he applies his mind to that end. That too is how a monk lives at ease. Similar way for once returner, for stream entry. So, Buddha clarified on this particular thing that why he declares the rebirth? It's not for deceiving people or flattering them or for benefit of possessions, honor, popularity. It's basically, it's basically rather than gentlemen Rather, there are gentlemen who of faith who are full of joy and gladness. When they hear that, they focus their mind to that end. This is for their lasting welfare. So, this encourages them, them goads them on the path. 
right? So this is the reason why Buddha declares rebirth. And in, in many of the discourses, especially in the Dignikaya, those discourses, Buddha has actually spoken about uh, some mendicant, you know, achieving a particular state of awakening. I have made a detailed video on the various states of awakening. Uh, you can also check that as to what Buddha has said, the various levels of awakening are there. You can also read that. So yes, this is it uh, about this particular sutta. The link to the discourse is given in the description. Do read it your end and uh, whatever your insights are, do share in the comments section. Right? And thank you so much for watching this video. Namo Buddha. Namo Buddha.